Hello guys, welcome to another video from the bustling Saigon. Today, we're gonna eat what I would say is a must eat dish in Vietnam. It's called Bun Cha. And I've come to Bun Cha Hanoi Quan, and that's almost certainly pronounced wrong. But if it's good enough for Obama, not this restaurant, but the meal, if it's good enough for Obama, it's good enough for me. And if the smoke and the smell is anything to go by, it's gonna be a good one. Let's go. This is a tiny little restaurant. Well, not tiny, but small little restaurant right on the street. And she is currently grilling the little patties. Just look at this straight away. As soon as you walk in, you can see the smoke wafting <laughs> over onto the road. That was the first thing I noticed when I got here. Look at the flame as the fat from the pork drips into the coals. It's cooking over coals and she's just guarding them, watching it and to get even more heat, well, also probably to blow a bit of the smoke away. She's got the fan going here as well, but also that will fan the flames and get that, well, you can see, right? If I can get close enough in this heat, the char on the outside of those pork patties. Just, what an entrance. So as we come in, you've got the little stool here. Oh, look, some have just come off the grill, going onto the hot plate there, or the, the plate there, ready to be served. You've got uncle over here making the patties themselves. Big bowl of mince. You can see how fatty that pork mince is. You'll have salt in there. You've got the herbs in there, a little bit of pepper, and then just that huge pile of pork. He's rounding them up or flattening them out and getting them onto those trays. Using gloves, of course, hygiene, first and foremost. Look at the speed no hanging around here and he's just going to line them up and when it's done they'll be shut and placed over onto the grill there you go and it's starting to pile up now but it's not just that strips of pork belly marinated pork belly as well thin strips and the lady here is just layering them again onto these trays which will go on the grill again a light marinade with those herbs. It smells good. There you go, close it up, lock it up, and then onto the pile. You can see it's going to be busy, right? They are preparing for dinner service. Stacks and stacks of pork belly strips. yet another opportunity for me to realize and regret that I don't speak Vietnamese. She's trying to talk to me in Vietnamese and I do not understand a word. I wish, I wish, I wish I had that level of interaction. But they're very, very friendly in here. Little family run operation, make you feel very welcoming, even with a camera, whilst they're trying to prepare for the evening meal. I should probably tell you a little bit about the menu and this place. Oh, here we go, look at this. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Vietnam. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what are your names? Ah, uh, husband and wife. Uh, my name Hoi. My name Hoi. Hoi. And you? Tui. 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 Ah, okay. ah, and you are husband and wife. Ah, very nice. Nice. And your family? No. Ah, no family. Okay. How long? How long have you worked here? How long have you? Ah, uh, uh, four, four. four years? Four. Uh, Forty okay. years. Forty years? Okay. Forty years. Okay, okay. Since you were... Wow. Mom, mom. Ah, okay. Ah, it's your mum's shop. Okay. Understood. That's why you're so fast. You're like... <laughs> it's like Mr. Speedy when you've been doing it 40 years. Okay, let me tell you about the menu. You have, essentially have one thing to order here. You have bun cha, you have bun cha Hanoi, which is the normal, the normal bowl. And then you have bun cha duck bit, which is the special. But there's a side dish that also you must order actually. So there's two things you need to order. And that is the nem ran, the deep fried spring roll. So we're gonna get them both. Look at the size of that bowl. A setup ready to go. Ah, this is the nem ran. Look at that, crisp to perfection. So proud of what they're serving. Can I have un cha duck bit and nem ran? Yeah?
and dakbiet means different things in different places. Dakbiet here means larger bowl, and Hanoi means small, so it's literally big and large. But in other places, it can mean uh, different ingredients or different specials, but here it's the size of the bowl. So small, and dakbiet. Let's watch her make it. So you've got the veg, pickles, and the veg going in. A couple of those, well, three of those pork patties. The slices of pork belly, which has also been grilled. Oh, over here, the smells are incredible over here. Selecting out the fatty pieces. Dak Biet. Hanoi. And of course, we've gone for the big bowl and the soup goes in, clear broth. And here come the all important sides by another very friendly lady in here. <laughs> Everything is here. Ah, oh, she knows me too well. She brought out the red chilies and the limes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So he was just telling me the raw garlic or the garlic vinegar, not raw, goes into the buncha. Ah, and the nemran. Thank you. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> and you can also put the dried chili in there too. But look, just look what I have here. Oh, thank you. Look at the service. <laughs> I've got the buncha, well, the soup itself with all of those meats. You get a plate of white rice noodles, thin white rice noodles on the side, and then an absolute mountain of salad leaves and herbs. I'm not even going to begin to be able to tell you what's in there. There's probably a bit of Vietnamese balm, maybe even some sweet basil. There's lettuce leaves there too, and mint, I'm sure. Coriander. Mint and definitely coriander. As I say, you've got the garlic and the chili flakes too. And then you've got the lime and the red chilies. Just look at the clarity of that broth. And you can see actually bits of the charred meat or the char on the, on the meat has come off and is floating in the broth. How cool is that? And that, well, we saw what went into it. To be honest, you have the meat and then you have the, the vegetables as well with the carrot. And I'm not entirely sure what it is. It may be apple or it may be kohlrabi. I'm not sure. And then of course, those patties. You can even see the bar marks on it from where it's been in that cage. Finally, we're sat down and ready to eat because I'm starving, so let's get tucked in. I think there are two ways to eat this. I've seen people in here eating it in this way. They take the small bowl that they give you and then take a little bit of that meat and, well, I know I've already showed you, but come on, how good does that look? The char on the outside, the fatty pork belly, so much fat in there. And you know, I've said it before, fat is flavor. So take a little bit of that, snip it into your small bowl. No vegetarians here, I have you know. <laughs> and then take your white noodles, get a little bit of those and snip them off into the bowl too. Take some of that broth, get that in just to loosen it. I don't think I like too much. I've not had this before, but I'm thinking of how I like noodle dishes in general, and then just tear in as many of those herbs as you want from the herb mountain. Just get them in there. Ah, there is some, there is some of that basil. So that's one way. Like before I do anything, I just want to try that broth in its purity so I know what needs to be doing to it. Mm. Oh, it's deep, it's rich, it's meaty, of course. It's the meat. I said the charred pieces have come off. You can taste the meat in there. It is slightly sweet for my liking, but I know, well, it's sweet and it's sour. There's this fruity sweetness in there, actually, but there is sweet in there. So what I'm going to do is hit it with a bit of that garlic vinegar. So I don't mind quite a bit of that and the garlic is going to be quite raw in there so it's going to add a nice layer of flavor in there too but it's going to lighten it straight up we're going to add also a little bit not too much just a little bit of those dried chili flakes so that goes in 
mix it up. Mm. Next level. And with that garlic, you get that raw flavor. <clears throat> and now the dried chili hits at the back of the throat. Elevated. And then what I've seen them do is literally just get in there, mix it up, and eat. Mm. Oh yeah. Time and time again, the freshness from those herbs in Vietnamese cuisine. I've never been a big herb person, but since I've come here, I've really got into them. I just love what they do in these dishes. The pork, the strips of pork belly is, well, it's soft because it's pork belly and it's been cooked nicely, but there's a chew to it because it's been thinly sliced and cooked on the grill. It's not been cooked for hours and hours where it just melts in your mouth. There's a nice texture and the more you chew, the more flavor comes out of it. You get that charred flavor from the barbecue, but it is quite rich and it is quite fatty, but those herbs cut straight through it, get a kick from the chili in that broth, and then the, the nice flavor from the garlic. I personally love it. The second way is, I think the way I prefer, and before I do that, I'm just gonna add a touch more, or some, because I haven't had it any yet, of that lime juice. And actually it is quite balanced now, I've added in the vinegar with the garlic, but I like it a bit more acidic than that, so I'm gonna add a little bit of that in, very nice. So take a little bit, well, first let's lose this bowl so you can see. Take a little bit of that silky smooth noodle, and yes, I've washed my hands, have to say this, because I'll get comments saying, have you washed your hands before you're touching your food? Put it on the spoon and just a little bit to broth in there. You can put it in, but I prefer it like this. Mm. And then, yeah, some of that meat and chase with the herbs. That might just be my preferred way to eat it. And incidentally, I just tried the pork patty for the first time. My God, what a flavor. You can see it's cooked perfectly all the way through. It's got that nice golden outside. I mean, we saw it on the grill and we saw him making them, how much fat there was in there. And you know what that means. It's so much flavor, so juicy, so moist. And then that barbecue flavor on the outside. This has to be right up there with one of my favorite dishes that I've had in Vietnam for sure, but definitely in Asia. And with those silky, smooth noodles, cold actually, so you have cold noodles and hot broth. Again, just another contrast. My favorite food is all about contrast, whether that's texture, acidity and saltiness, or hot and cold. Like, think about it. The best foods have that contrast, right? This dish has it. Since we have the lettuce leaf, maybe there's one other way that we can try. Maybe, maybe I'm making a big faux pas here and we shouldn't be doing it, but let's make ourselves a little grilled meat wrap. Right, let's dig in and find a lettuce leaf. Let's get one of the bigger ones. You know what I'm like with overfilling them. So there we go, we got ourselves a lettuce leaf. I'm gonna get a little bit, I think, of that fatty pork in there. Oh yeah, look at the fat on the outside of that. Lay it. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely too much. But it's okay, we move, we move. Lay it in that lettuce leaf. In fact, we might get two. Lay it in that lettuce leaf. Take, <clears throat> take some of those noodles and get that in there too. And then let's pluck some of those herbs, a selection of those herbs for the freshness and get them in there. Layer it and roll it up into the cigar. Look at that, come on. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna dip it in that soup. Get that dipped in there and let's eat. That is a winner. Let's see how hot these chilies are. Chase it with one of them. They're hot. <laughs> but not too hot, they're good. Oh, 
They are hot. Guys, why did you let me do that? Why didn't you tell me the chilies are hotter than the ones in Thailand? My God. My face sweats immediately on the brow. And my mouth is on fire. Anyway, let's try the spring roll. Okay, here we go. And how good, shall I just say before we try it, does that look as a crispy spring roll? You can see on the inside of it, you have carrot. Another thing which may be, again, either daikon or kohlrabi or some type of vegetable in there and minced pork, but it just looks amazing. Crisp on the outside, thick, 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 and it's less than a pound, about a dollar. Absolutely ridiculous value. All right, let's get it in the mouth. Mm. Oh man, crunchy on the outside from the wrapper where it's been fried, but on the inside you have the crunch of the veg and there's little rice vermicelli noodles in there too, so you have that, that texture, but the, the pork as well, very flavorful, very delicious. There's only one thing that can make that better. Sriracha, or sriracha type sauce. Let's hope it's not as spicy as the red chili. I don't know if you're meant to have it with that, but for me, it's delicious. Who do I pay? Thank you. Woo. Oh man, 110K, fantastic value for the big bowl and the spring roll. That definitely satisfied a craving.